Hi, this is 2E0 Hotel Tango Sierra and tonight I'm just going to uh, do a bit of satellite tracking. I'm using a program called Satscape and uh, I'm tracking some weather satellites at the moment. Uh, what I usually do is I have a radio FT-857 which is interface to the computer and that takes the sound from the speaker, from the received signal, puts it into the sound card and we should get some images from the satellite of the earth and what the weather's doing with a bit of luck. So let's take a look at the uh, program and see whereabouts the satellites are. Okay this is uh, a program that I use to track satellites, satellites. <laughs> uh, it's called Satscape and as you can see at the moment we've got the satellite which is called November Oscar Alpha Alpha 17 and it looks like it's just about coming into range. The radio is uh, the 857, that's the frequency. You can hear a bit of something coming through. The frequency is 137620 and basically what the idea is you can see the circle on the screen this is what we call the footprint and that's basically wherever you are within the circle you can receive the signal from the satellite providing it's transmitting of course. Once I get the signal I then use the uh, software which I have on my PC which is this which is Radcom 5.2 and this actually takes the signal from the satellite and makes it into an image. If you look at the top there you can see there's a line. This is a signal that we're getting. The actual uh, noise which is coming through is represented by the background uh, behind the line. That's the spectrum analyzer. That's the frequency of the signal. That's the volume input and this is the image as we're receiving it and I'll just shut up a minute and let you listen to what it would sound like. Okay, that's the noise. As you can see, we've got no signal at all. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this image and let's see what happens as it comes up. So as you can see, the satellite is moving. It's travelling. It's just about over the uh, coming over kind of central Europe, the coast of uh, looks like Egypt and this is all the information as we get it telling you which satellites are in range what time they're coming up uh, you've got your azimuth and elevation information there telling you where to point your antennas I'm actually using a vertical antenna so it doesn't make much difference to me let's go back and have a look at the um, image see if it's getting any better yep it's coming up nicely I'll just take a break and come back to it when we've got a bit more Okay, the satellites, not really over us, but we've got, we should be in the footprint, so as you can see, the image is there. It's not exactly the clearest image I've ever received, I'll be honest, but uh, it might get a little bit better. We can maximise the image by clicking on the screen, and then we've got a full screen of, uh, of what we're looking at. Not very good at the moment, unfortunately. It might get a bit stronger. I'll just reduce that back down. And uh, that's the uh, program working. You can see the, uh, the the signal's cleaned up now. There's not much background noise. Apart from the YL, doing a bit of washing up. <laughs> and the uh, signal on the radio is uh, coming up to an S1. So if I had a uh, satellite tracking antenna with the uh, azimuth and the elevation rotators, I'd probably get a, a bigger signal. Uh, however, this does work. I've had some success. To show you uh, an image, which obviously this is a good image. That's the sort of thing you can receive, and uh, on that you can see that that's really quite good. Down here we have uh, France. We've got the uh, border there with Spain. Uh, you can see that uh, we've got Europe there, and uh, yes, good old United Kingdom. Let's go back to the uh, image at the moment. And uh, the signal's coming up now. It's five. And you will see the quality of picture, how it improves. So about the movement. Now we've actually got a, a signal six. Or five to six. 
That's how the signal varies in the transmission up and down. Four, and the image is pretty good. It's coming up quite solid photographic image. Unfortunately, the resolution is uh, black and white. The uh, frequency which I'm listening is 137620, and on these frequencies you tend to just get black and white images. If you go to the uh, the UHF frequencies, you can get color images, but the radio I use is a it doesn't quite go up that high, so I, I tend to listen on the VHF side. However, we're getting we're getting a clear image coming up here, and uh, we can make out what we're looking at. Have a look. There's where the satellite's positioned. Zoom out a little bit. Various other satellites. Just out of interest, if you want to look at sat all satellites, uh, let me have a look. View all satellites. This is basically all the uh, low-level orbiting satellites which are available. Not all of them are weather ones. Some of them are communication ones. But we only really want the one that I'm looking at, which is this one, the Vembrosca Alpha, Alpha 1.7. Back to the image. And as you can see now, we're getting a proper image coming through of Europe. I'll just maximise the image. That's a bit better. So this is live from space using an SD-857 as the receiver, um, like I said before, into the sound card. Two E zero Hotel Tango Sierra at the controls. And I've got to say hello to all my subscribers. Got quite a big list now, so I won't like to go through them all, but many thanks. I'm glad you find some of my videos interesting. One of these days, I might actually show up. <laughs> it's a bit dark, because the part of Europe where the satellite is over is in twilight at the moment, so the picture is actually looking at the ground, but the, the sun is not shining, so we're not getting a particularly good image. But we can see that there's some, some cloud in this area here, and uh, there's, it looks like there's, you can see a bit of the, the land down here and a bit of cloud there. And we just have a look at the satellite view again. And that's where the satellite's looking at. In the, more or less heading out towards Greenland. Back to the picture, the image. And here we are. Some people use the uh, satellite tracking software to track the International Space Station. Um, we can have a look and see where that is if you want, whilst we're waiting for the image. I'll just find it. Uh, at the moment, it's just coming up there, sneaking up. So we're not doing too bad. We'll probably uh, try and listen out for that a little bit later on. It's supposedly going to be ah, not too long, about another 10 minutes. But in the meantime, we're still listening to November Oscar Alpha 17. Not for too much longer. It'll be out of range. But the image we've received, it's not too bad for an evening type image. You can see as it's getting further over the horizon, the actual image is becoming lighter because it's heading into the sunshine. Uh, I've only got 10 seconds left of film, so hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, maybe next time I'll give you one of the daylight from 2E0 HTS.